collecting and recording measurement data in a table and then answering questions about the data. So you're definitely going to need some separate paper for this. You can record your work, otherwise you're not going to be able to do these problems. You're going to measure the lines in inches. Okay, so make sure you're using your ruler and you're on the side that says inches. Then you're going to tally, or you can put the letter, like say A goes here, you'll just write an A. The ones that are five inches, you'll put the name of that line here, or the tally, or you can put a tally, oh yeah, record the data using tally marks. So you'll put a tally mark. So if A is less than five, you'll put one tally here. If they're longer than five, they go here. If they're exactly five inches, they'll go here, okay? When you get down here, you are gonna be writing me some information. Some of you are not actually writing me anything, and I can't see your work. So you're just gonna write shorter than five inches, and then give me the number. If it's three, put equals three. Longer than five inches equals whatever, so I can see what you're doing. Here they say, how many more lines are shorter than, than five inches than are equal to five inches? So there's lots of thans happening here. This is what they're asking. Your one that says shorter than five inches and your one that says equal to five inches. What's the difference between the number here and the number here? Put that number on the line. What's the difference between the number of lines that are shorter than five inches and the number that are longer than five inches? Again, take this number and this number and figure out the difference. Now you're gonna be asking a comparison question that could be answered using the information up top. So think of two things you can compare. They already have done a couple, so they might have taken some of your answers, but you're gonna be asking a question in this box. You don't have to, oh, it does say answer. Ask and answer a comparison question. You can't do one of the ones they've already talked about. So they've already talked about doing this one and this one, and they've talked about doing this one and this one. So there's one left that they haven't compared. That should be the one you're doing. So kind of use some process of elimination to think about which one you're gonna be asking a question for.